Hi, welcome to CC Pop Video Weekly, where we're featuring today's guest, Grimes. I featured her before, Shingami Eyes, so check that out in my playlist. But today it's Player of Games, and there's a lot of people saying a lot of things about this. And I thought, well, I've got to follow through on the last great response to her previous video. So I'm doing Player of Games and giving you my interpretation. And as always, there's always a story behind the story. And I'm like, no, I wanted to keep this simple. But sometimes you cannot. You've just got to fall into play with what other people have said and then give your interpretation of the lyrics, which I'm going to do straight after. And I'm going to keep this short. Player of games. People are saying it's about her ex Elon Musk. And a lot of people are going to go, no, don't be talking about it, please, please. Not again. But I'm only reiterating what other people have said. And it gives several, several references in the lyrics, even though the lyrics are quite sparse, really. They're not in-depth lyrics. They're, I'm looking at them in front of me. They're just lyrics to a song. But there's always hidden meanings. And I need to explain this video to all those people out there that would watch this and say, I wonder what that was about. And that's what my job is because it give you a bit of bio. Elon was a great fan of Ian M. Banks, who wrote a science fiction novel. He was a Scottish writer called The Player of Games. And it was the second published by the cultural novel, a film version planned by Perth in the 1990s, but it was abandoned. Now, what is the plot about? So we go into the plot, which would give you an indication of then the song and the lyrics and the video is all about as well. And we're going to keep it simple. At the end of the book, the particular book, the protagonist's participation in the distant planet's politically relevant game is revealed to have been part of a culture plot to overthrow the corrupt and savage empire from within and that he, the player, was in fact a pawn in a much larger game. Azad is a game played in the empire of Azad and in the language of the fictional empire the word Azad means machine or system but it's been applied to any complex entity such as animals, plants and artificial machines. Now in the empire the game is the main determinant of one's social status. So you've got that particular scenario going on in the video of the emperor and you've got Grimes playing the subservient woman to this emperor and they're playing this particular game that is a pawn in a much larger game within the book and that is keeping it as simple as I can keep it. Now also people have said the irony of Elon being a real world Ian M. Banks villain while being obsessed with the man's books gets to a lot of fans every time. And people are saying that Grimes is still hung up on him because they, they were together for a couple of years, broke up, had a child, went back together and broke up a second time. But whatever way you've taken it, it is all about the empire and the emperor. And if you get into what Wikipedia has said, they say this, and the significance of the video then becomes apparent, which is, and, I've say, and I'm going to go down to this particular thing. In the empire, the game is the main determinant of one's social status, which I've mentioned. And the game is played in a tournament every great year, roughly every six cultural years, initially consisting of some 12,000 players in the main series. And through various rounds, these are all whittled down to the final game and the victor, which becomes an emperor. So let's keep it at that and let's go with the video, watch it. Then, it, then you'll see Grimes having a game of chess with the emperor himself in the video which i feel is the emperor and her battle but then is it a battle that's related to the book or is it a personal battle 
we shall see straight after when we've watched the video and I analyze the lyrics themselves. Take it away Grimes, take it away player of games, enjoy this and come back for my interpretation of what this is all about. <laughs>
Wow, wow, wow. Epic or what, Grimes? You always do the most incredible videos. I've seen you recently in an old video playing live, and I just thought you were just awesome, and the crowd was just going crazy. But in videos, you partake in such... You get so involved within your character, it, it leads to many things. It just isn't your character. It's what's born out of the character outside that intrigues me. And I have to say, we have to go back, don't we? We have to go back to what's been said before because, you know, lots of things are saying that Grimes appears to make several digs at the ex-boyfriend, Elon Musk, in this single player of games and throughout the track she split from the SpaceX founder and avid PC gamer in September which is Elon Musk still plays a lot of games to this day and actually you know he's not he's not the first um, actor or the first successful businessman that's been involved in the world of games you you've only got to think of the English actor that plays the Witcher and he's also said that he he has been an avid gamer for, well, for most of his life but she was quoted as saying I'm in love with the greatest gamer but he'll always love the game more than he loves me and Musk was creating a video games before he became a millionaire at 27 and the Tesla CEO now in his 50s tweeted in January that he still plays Halo a military science fiction video game and speculation that Grimes song could be about Musk becomes even more evident and especially in the lyric when she sings sail away to the cold expanse of space even though love couldn't keep you in your place and I kind of think okay maybe she has made references and that because most Elon in his defense said the reason they split was primarily was because of his work and it's mostly his work at SpaceX and Tesla requires me to be in primarily in Texas at the time or traveling overseas and her work is in LA and they had one child together the son XA A12 AK baby X now look if we were going to go into the lyrics let's go into them because they're very brief and then we will partake in what i think it could be about now it's all life so verse one says baby would you still love me out on europa or would you forget baby how can i compare to the adventure out there so Am I going to fall into the trap of what everyone else is saying? Is this really about Elon? It could be, but it could be about anybody. It really could. It could be about maybe she's fallen, Grimes has fallen into past relationships where they've all ended up the same. But she had deeper feelings for Elon. Now, not just because they had a child together, simply because she just fell hard for him. And whilst he was developing his life and he often admits himself Elon that his work took over everything took over everything and let's remember he's also got twins and triplets to his former partner as well so he's got numerous children couldn't devote to them couldn't devote to his the part the mothers of the children because he just got so involved in his work and we only have to look at Twitter today and him being the biggest shareholder and maybe free speech will come back and social media will get the kick up the arse they need because they all need to learn that we are entitled if you put a social media platform to have free speech. But back to the chorus, sail away it says to the cold expanse of space, even love couldn't keep you in your place, but you can't love me like that. Can't, can't you need me like that? So in other words, can't your love for work come to me? And I'm beginning to think, yes, there are quite a few comparables that make it a song about the hurt, about what happened and telling the world she was like a pawn in that game. And 
Elon was the emperor in the video and she starts off with her being totally naked with her hand behind her back and the sword and I think the sword is reflective at the end of the video when she is dealt the lethal blow that just makes her feel time to go we're living two separate lives we're together and when we're together it's great and when we're apart it's just hell on earth but I just feel that's it she took one blow too many and that's it but when we come to the verse it said couldn't keep you in your place so she tried obviously in the relationship to say to him look less work more time with me have a life you're entitled to have a life let's make this work you, you know I've got my LA you've got Texas but let's meet in the middle somewhere let's do something about this but maybe Elon was just more honest about the situation saying I can't I can't actually commit full time my work is too important and he's always said that about his success that he worked 24 7 every single day to get where he is and sometimes I feel even with this channel trying to build up a music channel competing against so many music channels where am I going to be in the next year or two but I'm very happy with the growth and but it takes time and I and I have put many hours into this where my partner has just gone oh crazy but we're living under the same roof and we do make it work but it's many hours on my behalf I have to say and the chorus says if I loved him any less I'd make him stay and that's an ironic way of saying something isn't it if I loved him any less I'd make him stay in other words if I stopped showing him so much attention stopped putting so much pressure on him verbally and saying to him when we're together <clears throat> this is how it should be and I want it to be he probably would he could he maybe he would have stayed who knows but he has to be the best player of the games so as well as always being involved in Ian's work player which I feel the title has come out of one of Elon's favorite authors and books and she's made the song about that and his obsession with the author but also being obsessed with his uh, Halo the military game as he admits and he still plays it to this day it's a, it's something he started off with and ventured into and was passionate about and still is he's a player of games but his games to diversify to as we all know now cars social media different things now and his voice is becoming more and more powerful especially when you've got the biggest share in one of the biggest social platforms in the world and he said if I loved you any less I'd make you stay a player of games so as well as being a player of games he was a player of her heart and her way of feelings and she didn't want to be part of she wanted to know how to work out this game and be almost like checkmate to him but as we see in the video the Emperor is him and it falls she's, she's got a lethal blow and she just is exhausted with it all as she falls to the ground so it continues I'm in love with the greatest gamer but he'll always love the game more than he loves me so the self-pity there and it's it there is a, in relationships a, a lot of love give and take but there's a, always one person that feels pity me pity me and I think Grimes needs to sometimes step back and say okay this is what I, I'm, I'm sure they have now but at that particular time my advice to her as a friend or a sibling or I would have said look Grimes this is what you have to do you have to accept he's involved in his work you have to accept have to accept to step back whilst you're in the in his life just enjoy it now they shared a child together and most people would have said did that come out of necessity or need or try to entrap I wouldn't say I, any of that it just came about and it came about through love of two people but just lived opposite sides of the sail away to the cold expanse of space as we referenced before even love couldn't keep you in your place but can't you love me like that can't you need me like that and the answer to that Grimes would be no he couldn't he couldn't put you above his work his needs his desires 
and realizing that he was getting somewhere finally in his life like don't forget elon is now in his 50s it it wasn't born overnight it took 20 30 years of his life to get where he is today and even then earlier than that from boyhood you know his passion for games turned into his passion for wanting to create games and then he created cars and, and it's it's a continuous thing with him when you are in love with a workaholic work will always come first many less said i'd make him say so that's grimes convincing us and as we saw in the video elon was the big emperor in the end nobody could win him and it it the pawn fell and so she fell to the ground exhausted with life with what was happening and she moved on that is player of games my interpretation and also it's an interpretation of life something to learn from we are all players of a game in life we all want to be successful we all want to achieve notoriety in some way Grimes has done it through her music now she's done it through her videos and certain lyrics Elon's done it in other ways so they've moved on gracefully but as regards the rest of us we write our own books in our own lives and we are own and we all look for that checkmate situation where our past can meet our present and we can move forward and for that I wish all of you that scenario in life I really do take care for now thanks for listening and I look forward to speaking to you